Man, that's heavy. Before I show you how to convert this uh, top load water dispenser into an automatically filling bottom load dispenser and uh, save you a lot of heartache and backache, um, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel Duct Tape Mechanic and smash the like button if you like this video. So for this project you need, you'll need about um, $20 worth of parts. I recommend um, getting everything off of eBay because it's cheaper. Um, you'll need a NPN capacitive sensor. You'll need a push fitting, some tubing, a uh, 12 volt diaphragm pump, a DPDT relay, and I've also for a fail safe I've added this uh, temperature sensor um, which will shut everything down at 104 degrees. So let's begin uh, mounting the pump. So first you want to uh, pull the power. Then there's a screw right here. So we're gonna mount it on the back side over here. Like so. Okay, so we got the pump bolt bolted in right here. Tighten it up, and uh, we'll also bolt in the relay. this uh, project we'll be using this uh, double pull double throw relay um, it's a 12 volt relay and uh, I like to use this a lot for my projects because uh, it's very reliable and it's according to the data sheet it could be uh, actuated um, 18,000 times per hour um, so go ahead and bolt this on as well So the wiring to this um, mod is fairly simple. Um, we have a sensor, a relay, and a pump, and a um, 12 volt, 5 amp power supply. And we're going to start off with the sensor. This is a uh, just a generic Chinese model. So the instructions can be a little bit confusing, but um, essentially we have a brown wire which is going to the positive of the power supply. A brown, a blue wire, which is the negative, and a black, which is the output. We can't just hook this sensor directly to the pump because the sensor is rated for about 300 milliamps, and the pump itself um, requires three amps. So that's why we have to go through a relay. So essentially, our load is going to be the coil on the relay. So uh, we've got the sensor all wired, we've got the brown going to the positive and the blue going to the negative of the power supply and the black going to one leg of the relay. I've also added a, a jumper that goes from the positive of the power supply and back to the relay. Now we're going to be wiring the pump to the relay. Essentially we're going to be just wiring it in using the normally closed contact of the re relay so that when the, the trigger fires, the pump gets cut off. So for an extra safety feature, I'm going to be adding this um, temperature switch to the body of the pump. That's just in case if uh, the pump is allowed to run dry, um, so it'll 
switch everything off at 40 degrees C, which is about 104 degrees F. So it's just fairly low, and that'll serve as a nice fail safe um, for the pump. So it's just going to be just slice, splicing this in to the um, positive wire coming out from the pump and zip tying it to the back. So uh, we've got all the wiring done, um, now we've got to find a good place to mount the sensor and the inlet for the hose on the pump. Um, so let's do that now. I think the best place is going to be inside this cover right here. Um, so we're just going to take this apart a little bit and uh, get to that. Alright, so with the float valve removed, we're going to be drilling uh, two holes here, one for the hose in and one for the sensor. All right, let's go ahead and mount the sensor. So with the sensor mounted, we'll go ahead and go ahead and push it, uh, mount the push fitting. And, uh, I'd like to use this little. So we've got the sensor mounted on there now. I um, probably should have mounted it first and then all the wiring, but it's okay. Then I did the, I've got the inlet for the pump on there as well. So we'll just go ahead and uh, screw, screw it back together and uh, finish up the tubing. All right, so let's move on to the tubing. Um, first, we look at the pump right here. There's a arrow that tells us the direction of the flow of the water, so um, that's helpful. So uh, this is what the final product looks like. We got the sensor mount on there, the pump fitting, the pump and the relay back here. All plugged in, and the water bottle. All right, let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? All right, so I'll try the inaugural glass of water. So as you can hear, the pump kicks on immediately as I begin to fill up my water glass. Man, is it refreshing.